you know the drill by now. Three new live 2Ds, more interactions to figure out. We'll start simple. The bottom of her dress can be swiped to reveal a little more of her skin. There are two sections of it, one by her thighs and another by her glutes. You can swipe from the side of her breast leftward to pull down part of her clothing. She will be flushed with red the more you pull it down. Let go and it will slowly revert back to normal. There's a Manju right beside her on the balcony. Tap on them and they will attempt to give Albion water. They will trip and spill it over Albion's leg. It dries up after a few seconds. Things will get more technical here. You can swipe to remove or put on her stockings. Here's how it goes. When removing, you want to swipe down from the end of the frills. If you want to just mildly undo them, I recommend swiping down gently, though if you just want them off, you can go heavy on the swiping. To put them back on, I start from the very top of her sole and swipe up gently. Swipe too high and above a certain point, the skin might register it as you want to swipe down again. When rolled up to a certain extent, the garter will reattach letting you know if the stocking is fully back on. I found this by complete accident while figuring the previous one. By pressing on her feet for a second, she will act surprised. I assume this is like her normal touch where she says it tickles a little. The pièce de résistance. There's a special little glimmer in the top left. Tap that and you get a camera interface. You can control the position of it by using the joystick in the bottom left. Zoom can be controlled by a digital dial in the bottom center. Default is zero. Swipe left to zoom out up to minus two and swipe right to zoom in up to plus two. The dial matches your current point. There is an image icon on the top left of the display. Tapping it brings up a selection of images with a unique pose to them. If you want them to apply to Albion herself, tap the shutter button in the bottom right. By tapping the battery indicator, you can remove the camera interface and see the fruits of your labour. Wonderful. To bring back the camera interface, find the glimmer in spot again and tap on it. Even if you tampered with the position of Albion via the in-skin interactions, the camera toggle is stationary. To exit out of the state she is in, a back button will appear in the camera interface. Tapping that, we will turn Albion to normal and reset the camera position to standard. Here's an extra fun fact. The camera interface used here is the same as the main screen one, and if that triggers, control of the camera is taken away for a short while. If you mess with the camera position before that happens though, it doesn't reset to properly frame the scene, which can lead to some funny shots. Also, if you hold onto the joystick or the zoom dial before it plays, you actually retain control of that setting and can seriously mess up the predetermined camera movement. <sighs> you can tap above her head to pull down her sleep mask. This interaction felt weird to pull off as there wasn't a clear way to remove it again. My best workaround was to manually reset the Live 2D, then recycle through my secretary roster. You can tap on her heels to remove them and tap them again to put them back on. Tap on the red envelopes held by her owl. I thought all we got was either an animation of gems or oil. However, there's also a chance that you will get something different. The background turns red and the envelope reveals a full body art of Perseus. This is a sketch of Perseus' skin that her artist King Korra drew. It is also in 3D thanks to the power of the Unity engine, so you can move around the picture a tiny bit. The only way I could get out was by performing a full live 2D reset, but it is neat that an easter egg like this is in the game. You can move the hook from Perseus' dress to activate an alternate pose. Tap on her leg in this area to jiggle her around. There is no cooldown on this interaction, so you can do it repeatedly, which probably pisses her off greatly. While in this state specifically, tap on her owl to summon a feather. There are three places you can tap to get a reaction. Her face, her glutes and her feet. For her feet, the heels must be already off. If not, you will need two taps to activate her animation. 
the others don't have such a prerequisite. If you tap on the owl again, the feather will disappear. To exit out of this state, tap the telephone. Now this skin is a real doozy and even I had a bit of trouble figuring this out. Special thanks to the channel Setsuna Melody which helped discover these interactions. Tap the bottom of her dress to make it rise with the wind. The area is rather wide and easy to pull off but I struggled at first thinking you needed to swipe down when you don't need to. When the dress is floating in the breeze, you can tap it to recover Anchorage's legs. Undergarments can be removed by simply tapping on them and re-tapping in the same area brings them back. Tap on the candle lantern in the boat and you are given two mini games: sorting or numbers. Let's begin with sorting. The goal is to match the correct images with each other. Get it wrong and the images reshuffle. Get it right and you are presented with two options for a backdrop a lantern C or fireworks on the horizon. By default, you will have the lantern C. For the rest of this showcase, I'll use the fireworks backdrop. Even with a fireworks backdrop and change of perspective, Anchorage still has dialog lines enabled. Now let's go over to the numbers mini game. The aim is to solve the equation on screen. It's just basic subtraction. Get it wrong and it cycles to a different equation for you to solve. From what I've seen, there are three different equations that can pop up. Get them right and you are taken to this screen with two dials that go from 0 to 5. The left dial is for the pose she will do and the right is for the expression she will do. Left dial at 0 will exit you out of the subsection and go back to normal. Right dial at 0 is her normal expression, but choosing any expression from 0 to 5 and exiting on left dial 0 will save that expression for her normal dialogue lines, just like Kearsarge. I'll give one example for this guide. Left dial at 3, right dial at 1. By tapping on her back, you can activate an animation unique to each pose. While here, you can change what expression Anchorage makes too, as the right dial remains. To remove the dial UI element, tap on the candlelight, vice versa to bring it back. If you want to change the pose, you tap on Anchorage's head to bring back the left dial, which changes the pose. I'll leave it up to you to discover the rest as there are simply too many to list and this guide is already quite long. I went into this thinking of what Life to do I would buy, Anchorages or Albions. However, both were so good that I ended up buying both. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon and maybe you might receive a picture of Perseus in your red envelope. See you all next time.